All right, so this is where we left off. We designed our header and uh, got the CSS working for it. Uh, so let's start to make some links. So the about page, uh, this is going to be a button. So let's link to about.html and portfolio. Um, I'll just do portfolio.html. We can change these later. And blog, uh, I'm going to paste in a link to a blog that I just set up for this tutorial. And um, what we're going to do is for the target for the blog, we're going to do blank. So that's going to open up a new page uh, specifically for the blog. And then contact will be contact.html. Okay? And then our header is just going to be um, index.html. All right. So if we save this and preview it, uh, now when you scroll over each one of these, there's a button and it'll go somewhere. So if I click on blog, it'll open up a new page and go to uh, a blog that I just made. Um, unfortunately, right now, if we click on you know, about or portfolio or contact, we're going to get one of these. Uh, I can't find it because it doesn't exist yet, but we're going to change that. So um, our header is pretty much done right now, actually. So let's move on to the content. So div, and we're going to create another container. So class equals container 12. All right, and close that div. Excuse me. And um, let's see here. Our demo reel is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight columns wide. So if we go back here to Dreamweaver. Let's make a new div and class equals grid 8 and we'll close that div and I'm just going to type in demo reel and go down a couple lines and div class equals grid 4 and that's going to be uh, our description so I'm just going to type disk All right. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll work. Yep, looks like it worked. Um, and let's just, uh, why don't, actually, let's get rid of this text, and we'll just bring in those images that we exported. That'll be a little bit easier to see what we're doing. Um, we're going to get rid of these images later, but uh, we'll be able to visually tell what's going on if we do this. So description. And okay. All right. So we've got both of them in there. Uh, and I bet you can see the problem right away. Uh, these things are right up against each other. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to fix that. And to do that, we're going to have to make a new uh, CSS rule. And it's pretty easy. So let's make a new one. Uh, and we're going to make this one, let's make this one a class. Okay. And we'll call this class content. And click OK. And we're going to go down here to box. And under margin, we're going to put in. Um, under top, let's see here, like 75 pixels, okay, and uh, let's save that CSS file, and save our HTML file, um, and it didn't do anything right now, because we haven't, uh, we haven't applied um, that rule to anything, so we want 
this div, grid 8 and grid 4, to both go down uh, by that margin that we created. So uh, to, to give something two classes, you just um, put a space between the classes. So grid 8 is one class, and content is another class. And we'll do that down here, content. All right, and there we go. We gave it a little bit of space between them. All right. Um, I'm gonna pause this real quick because I wanna I wanna find something. All right. Yep. Okay, it's recording. Sorry. Um, this is what I wanted to find: uh, margin versus padding. Uh, this is just something so that you can see um, this box right here, this uh, brown border. Border, sorry. Uh, this is your div tag, and uh, this gray box around here that's margin. So margin actually uh, extends past your div tag, uh, whereas padding, padding goes inside the div tag. So what we just did was. Uh, we did this. We extended past uh, these div tags. We uh, increased that space um, versus uh, going into the div tag itself using padding. We used the margin to push away. Okay, uh, and we'll be using padding here, actually here in a second uh, with this guy right here so that we can uh, bring our text in so that it's not right up against the edge. Okay, so let's, let's move on. Uh, we got the spacing down. Actually, we should probably see, you know, how, how big is this? Is that 75 pixels? How big is that? So I'm just making a selection and copying and creating a new document and it's gonna, okay. So that height is actually 54. So let's make it like 55, just to be, just to make it nice. So set that to 55. Okay. Um, all right. So let's move on to this guy. Uh, like I said, we need to make the padding for this. Uh, but before we do that, we need to uh, get rid of this image because we don't need it. And uh, we're gonna give this guy an ID, just like how we gave uh, the header an ID, we're going to give uh, the description an ID. So ID equals, uh, and I haven't made a rule yet, so I'm just going to make that rule real quick. So new rule, and it's an ID, and uh, we'll just call it disk, and click OK. And we're going to have to set the size of this box, I believe. Uh, so we might need that image back. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Insert image and description. And I just want to get the dimensions off this guy. So it's 300 wide and uh, 379 tall. So, get back into here, box, height, and width, okay? And like I said, here's padding, here's margin, we went over the difference between the two. Padding goes inside the div, margin goes outside. So we're going to give it a padding of like 25 pixels, okay? So now, uh, if we type something in here, um, Oh, we have to before before anything will happen. We have to, you know, give it that ID so it knows what it is. All right, and uh, where to go? Um, hmm, that's odd. This is a text box. Okay, I'm gonna save this. And I'm going to see how it looks in the browser because it's acting kind of funny. Yeah. Why 
is it doing that? Hmm. Give me a second right here. I'm gonna. All right. So I figured out what was wrong. Um, I gave it the padding, and it's the correct size. It's three hundred. Um, it's three hundred uh, pixels wide. But the thing is, when we added that padding. Uh, it added to the width as well. So we need to set the width to uh, 250. Set that back to 3... I think it was 379. Yeah. And there we go. It's back over here. So that was the problem. Alright. So uh, let's set the background of this div tag to be uh, that image that we made. So I'm going to go over here to background and browse for description dot gif and repeat no repeat all right there we go and let's go and get our text for this so uh, where is it website uh, I think it's Actually, somewhere else. There we are. Um, whenever you're working with text with Dreamweaver, you want to um, copy and paste your text into Notepad or Text Edit uh, before you paste it into Dreamweaver, because uh, Dreamweaver will try and uh, take whatever styling you have on your text, so like what color it is, what size it is. Uh, what font it is, it'll, it'll try and copy all of that. And you want to do all of that styling in CSS and not in Dreamweaver, or not in some other program and just have Dreamweaver try and copy it over. So I've got this text and I'm just going to change a couple things. I had some returns in there uh, that I don't really want as breaks, I want as uh, something else. I'll show you here in a second. So there's, there's my text. It's all one giant block. Um, I want to separate this out into different paragraphs. And how text works is uh, there's different uh, types of text. There's like headers and uh, paragraph. And so we're going to make different paragraphs. So if you do P for a tag and then uh, end it, right here, p slash, or slash p, uh, and then start a new one, and then end it, uh, and then start a new one, and then end it, we'll get what we want. Three separate paragraphs. And we can, uh, we can hit return here to separate them out so it's not all cluttered. So we got the text in there. It looks good. 